Okay, so uh, this is a little video to remind you of um, what we did in class and to be able to do the egg crate um, assignment for Wednesday. Um, it's just quick, so it's not going to be super fancy, but hopefully it'll um, allow you to complete your, complete your project without too much trouble. So the first thing I want to do is check and make sure I um, have the dimensions and everything set the way I want it. So I'm going to check the units, and here my page is in millimeters. I want to change that to inches. The model, I want to change that to inches as well. The grid lines, I'm going to um, change that to a quarter of an inch and change this to four and 70 inches. That's bigger than we want, but it doesn't matter. Well, I'll change that anyway. I'll do 12 inches. And uh, that's what we want there. So I can uh, just close this. If you missed that, that was under dimension, dimension properties. Okay, so the first step um, that we're going to do is uh, create a surface. And um, I will do it by lofting. So I'm going to draw two curves, and I'll just use this curve through um, control points. And I'm going to work in the front view here. Um, and I'm just going to draw a curve. I want to, each one of these big li dark lines here is an inch, so I don't want to make my thing too big because then it's going to, um, it will use up a lot of material when I'm um, laser cut it. So, you know, I'm not going to go more than two inches in the Z, and what did I do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight inches. That's probably bigger than we need it. Um, but, so I've clicked my points, I hit return, that gives me one uh, line. I'm going to hit space, which will reactivate um, the last command. And I will just draw another curve here um, that will give me some kind of um, opposing surface. And then hit my return to end the command or um, right mouse click. Okay, so now if we look in the top view, I've got both those lines are drawn right there on the uh, X axis. So I want to move one of those. So here in the front, I will select one and then I'm going to move back up to the top view and I'm going to go just drag it back and let's see we'll do four inches one two three four okay so now if we look in the perspective here I've got two curves um, both on the uh, XY plane uh, and they're spread out by four inches one two three four so that's that okay so now I want to create a surface between those two beautiful looking curves um, and we're gonna do that with the loft command so under surfaced here we go down to the first one, loft, and it's asking us to select um, curves to loft. Now remember, it's important that we select them from the same side 
Um, so I'm going to select one here, and because I selected on the right side, I want to make sure to select the second um, curve also on that right side. If I select it over here or in the middle, the it, Rhino will get confused and we'll have a uh, self-intersecting surface. So select those two. Um, it says press enter when done. So hit return and it pops up this um, window that allow me to do whatever I need to this surface. We could, for what we're doing here, um, we could just hit uh, loft, which will finalize the command. Um, but just to make it a little prettier, I'm going to rebuild it. And you can see how the ISO curves become a little more regular um, when I rebuild that. Uh, if we go back to don't simplify, the ISO curves aren't um, perfectly, you know, they're not clean. But it does fit to my curve perfectly. But since I don't really care about that, um, I'll rebuild it. It'll give me a slightly different surface, but nicer ISO curves. So I'll loft that. Um, over here in this perspective view, I'm going to switch to the shaded so I can see my surface. And isn't it fabulous? All right. So um, we the next step is to create the um, surfaces that we're going to use to egg crate this with. Um, Let's see. Okay, so I've got my surface made. Uh, so the next step is to go through and um, make my other surfaces that will become the egg crates. Um, before they do that, I want to um, do a little housekeeping and um, create some layers. Uh, so if I open up the the layer panel, which is the the cake here, and hit the plus um, symbol, I will create a new layer. Then I can uh, name it. So I'll do a cut layer. I'll change this one to score, and do another one. Oops. Um, fold all right <coughs> so I have a null uh, cut score and fold uh, next I want to um, adjust those colors uh, and if I click on the color thing the color pick picker turns up and if I have that little outline on there, it'll come in. Uh, that means I'm changing the color. Um, and I just want to see, yeah, that color is the right color. Um, so I can change, oh, I did that wrong. Score is red, fold is yellow and cut is blue and then uh, we're all set there and um, we'll change this all at the end but I've got the layers set up and I'll show you how to change it um, when we get there but I just wanted to make sure they were set up so um, I'll close this so it's out of the way but it's set um, <coughs> 